The bomb exploded as Hisham Barakat's motorcade left his home in the upper market suburb of Heliopolis. He died of his wounds a couple of hours later. I was inside. I had a loud explosion and when I came out, I saw the cars in flames and two people on the ground. The ambulance and the police came quickly. He passes through this road at the same time every day. The natural thing is to change route all the time. 64-year-old Barakat took office a week after the ouster of former President Mohamed Morsi in July 2013. As Prosecutor General, Barakat led a crackdown on Morsi and his allies, in which hundreds have been jailed and others given the death sentence, including Morsi himself. Barakat had survived the previous assassination attempt in January, but not this time. He's the most senior official killed since Morsi was toppled. This is a sad day as a respectable personality has been killed. It hurts all Egyptians and shows that terrorism is widespread everywhere, without exceptions, and we have not dealt with it enough to stop it. The Brotherhood-affiliated popular resistance in Giza group has claimed responsibility. Officials fear more violence in days ahead. The Muslim Brotherhood announced it will escalate violence starting the 30th of June to the 3rd of July. It's the anniversary of the uprising that ousted the group from power. Yasa Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.